Thank you very much, Madam Chair. It's wonderful to, to introduce myself and uh, my icebreaker speech and talk about why I've joined Mount Drury, Mount Drury, Drury Toastmasters in my journey to, so far. So I'd like to start with a bit about my past and where I am currently am pre present and hope where I want to go in the future with, with um, Koori Toastmasters. So my background, um, I'm my, my professional background, I'm actually an occupational therapist with a uh, background in work, health and safety. So I have a very keen uh, passion for actually helping people in the community and taking a very holistic view of health and um, helping people and, and make people achieve their personal goals. I also want to say a bit about my, my Toastmasters background too. I actually joined Toastmasters back in 2017. And the, and the reason why I joined, I was actually going through a rather horrible, messy, um, emotional marriage breakup where I actually uh, suffered post-traumatic stress. Yes, it was a res resulting from domestic violence. And one thing I really found that my um, confidence in speaking had really deteriorated to the point I was really getting quite nervous standing up in front of people. So I wanted a safe environment to really get my confidence back. In, uh, in in speaking in, uh, in front of a safe a safe audience, and I found that in Toastmasters, uh, I joined first the Papua New South Wales Toastmasters, and when I actually moved on career wise, I then enjoyed what was called PMI Sydney Toastmasters, which stands for the Project Management Institute. I've been there for the last oh five years, but uh, for very much personal work reasons, it's probably going to be time to move on there. So hence why I've joined um Kuri Toastmasters, but I've been. In part of my journey in Toastmasters, I've been very pleased about that. I've been a member for five years now, and it looks like I will be achieving my DTM this year, which I'm really, really quite thrilled about. So it's been a fantastic journey and learning experience. I've had the opportunity to complete two, two pathways, as well as help with coaching a club, doing a DTM project, and being an area director as well. So I do come with a bit of a wealth of experience in Toastmasters, which I'm happy to share and support the club in whatever area they need. My key areas of experience include being a club president, being a, a being a VP of education, VP of membership, and obviously secretary as well. My weakest link is treasurer. So sorry about that, Lucinda. I am not going to go there. Well, maybe not this year, perhaps. But if the budget looks okay, maybe the year after. But definitely my numbers are bigger. Is definitely my weakest link. Now, look, the reason why I decided to join uh, Mount Drury um, Curry Church Masters is actually for quite a, a personal reason. I'm actually a very keen, passionate advocate of um, Aboriginals and Kuris. In fact, I've been there since the 1970s. And how it came about was um, a family had a pictorial diary at home. And it's back in the 1970s. And as well as there being a lot of Aboriginal, a lot of Australian pictures in there, there were pictures of Aboriginals uh, in there representing their culture, you know, doing the hunting and fishing. Now, I was only an eight-year-old, nine-year-old child back then, so obviously didn't um, – so but I was really taken back by the by the, the proudness of those people and their ability to survive off the land and their resilience back then. Now, I had no understanding about the whole you know, political, what had happened since the stolen generation. I do apologise for that, but as you can appreciate, as an eight-year-old, you wouldn't have any knowledge of that. And, in fact, in Brownies, I was – very proud to get my Aboriginal badge. And that was part of my work I did in terms of having a cultural understanding of Aboriginals in terms of their what they ate, how they cut, kept their food, and that whole living, um, what they did. So I was very quite thrilled to have achieved that badge. Um, in, in my speech and drama a bit later on, I was really pleased to have a speech and drama teacher who actually encouraged my understanding of poetry and Aboriginal in terms of one well, of the poems I was given to learn as part of speech and drama was a poem called Kukalinji. And that was a poem about a young Aboriginal girl basically taken away from a tribe and become part of the stolen generation. You know, learning, to, learning the, the white man's rules, but still pining for her tribe. So, again, I had a, again, an understanding there of the issues around that whole um, stolen generation. I have to, to confess, I haven't done too much in that space for many, many years until I started getting back in the community again and, and issues around Aboriginal starting to raise themselves again in terms of domestic violence actually came from working in, in home care and yeah and uh, and uh, and having to deal with incidents around um, domestic violence and lack of care. So it really sparked my interest in terms of the need to really support um, Aboriginal and Koori people in this space. 
And so part of my motivation for joining this club is realize I have very little to know. I've got very little knowledge about this area. I want to gain more in this space about the cultures and values that the Koori people, Aboriginal people present, but also to support the club too in terms of their competence in public speaking and membership and leadership. I think you've got an absolutely marvellous club here in the way that you do it. Um, your professionalism, the way you conduct your business is absolutely first class. Your passion for your meeting and turning up them is absolutely inspiring and your dedication is, is just absolutely out of this world as well. So I very much look forward, and plus also your humour too. I must say your, your, your wit and humour is just absolutely hilarious. I'm really enjoying that as well. So that's basically been a summary. I've talked about my past, my risks for joining, and we'll look forward to contributing to the club in the future. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster.